So well, this makes sense. Cave people are not are like Arnold Schwarzenegger. That would be at a disadvantage because bigger body mass requires more food. Cave people are built like me and you folks. Cave people, the average caveman, 5'10", 160. Why? Because they walked everywhere. You know much about metabolic cost. Walking, best walkers in the world, don't have a lot of body mass. It's more efficient. Though. Although you can tell they are somewhat ready because it's the winter time. They've been pulling up on the animal back. There's a blue rhinoceros. The six dots behind them are not blue. That would indicate the high degree of sickness of gold. We think that that's a, a chapter in Maybe the artist is saying about 15,000 years ago, here in my story, and thus begin. Yeah, her story. Now, if you guys want, I've got about five more minutes. If you want to see some the horse clan said, this is our territory, and then later the Oroch clan said, oh, no, you didn't. This land belongs to us. Again, speculative. There are 2,000 images, folks. 2,000 more discovered every day. They find ones beneath other ones. Look at this. Talk about abstract. That's like a Mark Rothko painting. You know what a nine-year-old told me last week? Mr. Rich, are those traps? That's brilliant. Because look where they're at. They're at the peak. Look how he did this to the artist. He or she. Engraved it, painted it, and re-engraved it. Why? To make it three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sophisticated. Yeah. My favorite is the one behind you. Oh, incidentally, these people are eating mostly reindeer, 80%. There are no reindeer in Lascaux depicted. You know what this might be? A wish list. <laughs> Their way saying, I have a population of 50 men and women. I saw that head every day in the winter. Yeah? <laughs> She's keeping warm. Look at him. He's got jewelry on. There are, there are shelves here from the English Channel, probably. That indicates a barter economy, a trade economy. They're big folks. The average caveman from this time is five foot ten. That's our height. The average cavewoman is five foot six almost. And yet, when you go to Egypt right next door, which is the most dramatic in North America, I think, the average Egyptian man is five three. A woman is barely five feet. What happened? Diet. Egyptians are eating bread. What do they eat? Meat. Hot, thank you. High nutrient food. And I'm not talking the muscles. I'm talking the guts. That's where the nutrients are, that's where the fat is, which has more calories. Look at the color of their skin. This is their mutation, folks. Because they live in this part of France, where there's really little, little sunlight in the winter, light skin, fair skin, he gives the appearance of moisture in his eyes. You swear he's going to move. Is anybody here a member of the museum? I am. Right. One right here. So, right? Thank you, ma'am. We had our members' night, and I was giving a little tour here, and one of the members was standing way over there. And I said, sir, there's plenty of room here. Well, this member remembered the Terracotta Warriors show, where we had that uh, mm -hmm. actor who <laughs> pretended to be a warrior and then move. He swore that kid was going to move. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing to him? Putting on like a tattoo of makeup. Yes. For what reason? Protect him. Maybe. Maybe it's spiritual. Maybe it's his birthday. Maybe a, a, a kid said this today. Maybe it's a coming of age. Uh -huh. We don't know. Well, it'd be more likely to be a man doing it then, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so who knows? You know, what we now think, and if you would have been here at the Field Museum when it was showing six months ago, they would have probably told you these were cave men that did the paintings. And now I'm going to tell you it's almost certainly cave women because there are paintings. The Oroks were carved with accuracy on both sides of the main. The artists used black paint to define the horn's tips, the nose, and what could be the cow's tongue. At the center of the panel, below the black cow, there are three rectangular patterns. They may seem peculiar, but these are not the only abstract designs on the panel. Other rectangles are carved onto the horses and the cow. While the others are only engraved, the three rectangles below the black cow were painted with a variety of colors. Each rectangle was placed on the tips of the cow's tail and hooves. These rectangles are divided into checkerboards of colors, light and dark browns, red and black, paints also used within the animals on the panel. In one of the rectangles, you can see a shade of purple that is completely unique, 
It's not found anywhere else in the cave. 